A year of positive changes awaits the dragon in 2023. Stay tuned to find out. Now, the dragon in 2022 has been a rather challenging year because there were no auspicious stars in your sign last year. But this year, things will be different. This year, you have the sun in your destiny chart. Now, the sun is one of the four greats when it comes to Chinese astrology. And when it enters a particular animal sign, that sign becomes extremely prosperous in the entire year. Now, when I say as prosperous, I don't want you to get the wrong idea that means you could do anything and things is going to work your way and you can start to gamble and you win shitloads of money, okay? That's not what it means. You got to understand what's the function of these energies before you term it auspicious. Now, the sun means it's, the, it's a nobleman star. Now, a nobleman means a helpful person uh, uh, where, you know, it helps other people, support others and bring joy and happiness to others. Just like the sunlight, it's supposed to shine and bring joy and happiness and warmth. So you may think, ah, this is going, these are the people that appear in my life. Finally, there is a savior. Unfortunately, that's not how it is read, okay? The sun means, in your chart, means you become the sunlight to other people's lives. Now you say, oh, fuck. That's not what I intend, all right? I don't want to help people. I want people to help me. Uh, unfortunately, that's not how it works, okay? As the sun, um, your job in 2023 is that people will come to you for solutions and you are going to provide it. And if you can do that, you open up not just their opportunities for them, but you also open up opportunities for yourself. So you th the thing is this, a lot of people don't see that, but true happiness is when you can actually help other people, when you rejoice in other people's success, when you become instrumental in transforming and coaching other people. So if you are a coach, a teacher, a, a, a leader, or um, an owner of your own company, or you are the boss of a team, for example, a leader of a team, and you are supporting other people, and you are generous about it, and you're truly, you know, um, working towards the benefit of others, then this will pave the way for a lot of good opportunities for you in future, okay? So now, I know some people think, you know what, I've been bamboozled my whole life, I'm not gonna go there and support other people, other people are gonna take advantage of me. Well, I know this mentality is going to be very hard to shake away, especially when one of the negative stars cause six harms. But um, in 10 dragons, right? If there's 10 of you guys, the two that could step out and truly see in, from the perspective of other people who have true compassion, true compassion, the sun is about compassion. Compassion means you are able to see the problem and provide a solution to other people. Genuinely, that they, those are the ones that get the benefit. Those are the ones that open up opportunities and become better, rise in ranks, achieve greater financial success in life, okay? So that's how you can use the sun. So it's, it's it, take a look at it this way, guys, okay? Isn't it better to be the one that's able to help others than to be the one who's always asking for help? Don't you think so, right? So you are the sun this year. So step out of your comfort zone, go and support other people and help others, okay? So if you think, yeah, but you know, I need help right now. I, I'm in the position where financially I'm not doing so well. Maybe it's not about finance. Maybe it's about just one good word to other people. Maybe it's about genuinely caring for other people. Be the sunlight in other people's lives. When you can do that, not just your career becomes better, your relationship becomes better, your entire well-being becomes better. Try it out, okay? These energies are there for you to use. Now, if you say, I don't like this, I don't want to be that, then you're not using the positive powers of the sun. In fact, you're going to be activating these negative energies called the yin sha and the six harms. Now, yin sha means, well, uh, in the old days, it means it offends people who have a, a vengeful behavior, resentment. So if you don't want to be someone who is going to be magnanimous and prosperous, on the other hand, these are resentful energies. That means in your heart, there's resentment. You're going to be cynical. You're like, eh, you know, I don't believe in all this crap. You know, not, nothing good ever happens to me. You're just saying it. If you're cynical about this stuff, you activate yin sha. When you activate yin sha, 
more bad shit will happen for you, okay? So you see, you have a choice of red pill or blue pill, all right? So this is how astrology works. It's about choosing the activities for the year based on the guidance of astrology. It doesn't mean that this is your destiny and things happen to you as if it's all written in the plans. No, you have a choice. You have the free will to decide how you want the year to be. Now, six house basically means that you possibly feel that you're constantly being taken advantage of. You feel, oh, people are out there to harm you. People are out there to take advantage of you. They are out there to cheat you. Maybe you want to question some of these fundamental flawed beliefs. Not everyone is evil. Maybe it is always you that are, you know, not careful and you're not in detail. Maybe the problem is caused from your end, okay? And uh, maybe you're not providing value and you think that the world owes you something. That's the six harm problem. Okay, so maybe you want to look, look at a different perspective and how you could truly add value, how you can actually be the light in other people's lives. That's what the sun is about. Okay, so choose which path you want to take. A resentful year, year that you resent people and you may say my heart is full of darkness because of past trauma, because of family this, because of the past relationship, because you've been betrayed. Listen, whatever happens this year is different this year you have the sun in your life you can be my name you can overcome this problem you can become when you are the good fortune in other people's lives you will always be treasured you will always be loved be the good fortune be the nobleman in other people's lives that's what this star is about okay that's what the sun is about now in terms of the uh, spiritual element you have the general the general star is very interesting. In fact, this star actually talks about uh, your own internal demons. Now, a lot of people have internal demons. It's about the stuff that tells them, the internal voice that says, you can't do this, this is bad for you, the people are out there to cheat you. That internal voice, once you recognize that you and that negative energy are two different things, they are not you, your thoughts are not you, you begin to realize that you can actually curb that internal negative inner demon and activate the inner deities that support you, the inner guardian angels that are blessings in your life. In fact, once you do that, good things happen for you. Opportunities open itself. When you help, when you become the person that is helpful to others, people invite you to their, their company, people invite you to be on board, people invite you to their projects. But first, you must demonstrate that part. So it's important for you to realize that the strength is in you. Remember the sun, the energy is not obtained from other places. The sun's energy is derived internally. So once you activate that, this is spiritual enlightenment for yourself, in fact, you will be the source of your own happiness and you'll be feeling pleasant and joyful, okay? So I think for dragons, it's a fantastic year. Spiritual energy-wise, everything's on your side. It's a question of whether or not you want to take that step to actually become the bigger person, the more magnanimous person to others. And when you do that, it's going to be a great year for you, okay? Now, it depends on also where dragon is in your chart. It can be in the year above, month above, day above, or hour above. Now, if you don't already know this, you can plot your astrology chart. Follow the link that you see on your screen right now. Go to this link, plot your full astrology chart by plot by keying in your year, your day, your year above, and the month above, and the hour above, and you get the full chart, okay? So if it, the dragon appears in a year, you will see a lot of people this year outside, okay? The day themselves, either they have resentment that you could solve problem or they have depression or frustration that somehow needs your help. So you'll be the one that they're trying to brighten up their lives. Now you may think, but I'm miserable right now. How can I help people? But here's the trick. When you start to help others who are seemingly less fortunate than you are, your own problems disappear. That's the power of the sun. Try it out and see, okay? Now, if the month of birth, you see the dragon, then in your world, you might need to enlighten and coach other people. You become a coach to other people. Maybe sometimes not work-related, but in your work environment, you're having someone in the relationship, maybe someone just broke up, or maybe someone have a challenge in terms of their, you know, frustrated in terms of their life and all that, and you are there to brighten it up. And if it's in the day of birth, you're born the day of the dragon in 2023, um, your spouse might need you to give them some encouragement, give him or her, you know, your, your support and brighten up their day. Be the sunlight in his or her life. That's what you need to do, okay? Now, not many people know how to do that. So go and find out how to do that, right? Give people what they want and need, not just what you want to give. That's important. And if you're hour above, the sun actually does indicate only one, right? So in terms of uh, kids-wise, Maybe there's a bit of a distance, maybe your kids are traveling, maybe this year communication might be a bit lesser. 
But in terms of your ideas, it will stand out because your hour of birth also represents your ideas and contribution. What if you are if you dare to speak up, if you dare to contribute, you dare to start a project this year, it will stand, you know, as the one. That's what the sun is. There's only one sun, right? So it will be outstanding. Okay. So it's an interesting year for you. If you want to find out about all the other animal signs that's also in your astrology chart, go to the link right now and download the driver's guide and also watch the other animal sign videos. And if you're not already done so, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, any updates on Feng Shui and Astrology, we will notify you if you click that bell button. And don't forget to smash the like button for this video. On behalf of me and my team, we'd like to wish you a happy and prosperous 2023.